at the end of 87, actually, the Steve Lukather from Toto played on my solo album with Capitol. And we became friends, and he asked me to join Toto. And so I was in Toto for about two weeks, and everybody loved me in the band, except uh, Jeff Picaro, you know, the drummer. He thought I was too green. He thought I was too young. He said, yeah, yeah, you know, you made a few albums, and you've had a little bit of experience, but you're just too young. You need to, uh, to grow up a little bit as a vocalist. And wow, that... Wow, that blew my mind. You know, I, I wasn't cocky or anything, but I went, "Oh my gosh, I've I've come this far. You mean I have to start over again?" And so I went back home. That was in L.A., and I went back home to San Francisco, my my town, my city by the bay, and I, I pondered what I'd wanted to do with my life. I I didn't know if I wanted to start over. And then the phone rang. Ding Hello, Billy Sheehan. Changed my life completely. Called around uh, 88, and uh, him and I together started Mr. Big. We didn't have anybody. And then Billy found Paul. Uh, Pat came in for an audition. About uh, eight days later, we wrote our first album. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. Just like the Beatles, I hear. Anyway, we wrote our first album, and then we... We, we kind of never looked back. We basically said goodbye to our family and friends, got on a tour bus, and I like never got off that tour bus for almost 13 years. 